Hey everybody, how y'all doing? Are you hey okay? In your neck of the woods? What up? What up? Man as a respect man. Are your girl Debbie from Donga Yard? Welcome you all to the Jamaican kitchen. Welcome once more. It is the Jamaican cooking journey. If you're new right on over here, let me extend a very special welcome to you and also to say thank you very much for joining the family. Those of you who are there with me from the beginning of the journey and are still there, you know, you know the drill, manners and respect. I know you might be hearing my fan there in the background, but I do apologize for that. Somebody said, Debbie, we don't want to hear your fan no more because I come like say, we not hear the mic or something like that because get that turn on your AC. I, hello, how do you do please? I can't turn it on yet, you see? When I get the chance to, when my finances allow me to, I'll do just that. So me a chat loud, but you see this little fan is a China fan. That's how they make a lot of noise. So I'm going to be speaking loud that you can hear me, okay? Now today's video is fish tea. Jamaican fish tea. I want you to understand something before I proceed with the preparation of it. Fish tea is a total different thing from fish soup. Fish tea doesn't carry food in there. Soup or soup, food or food. Let's proceed. Now, right here, I have some nice, clean, fresh fish. We, I'm not sure what the, I'm not sure. I think this is maybe just the Jamaican name. Look at these. These are fresh, clean. You see the freshness? Clean and nice and pretty. You just clean them. You know, but I dress up nothing on no, a table fish. Them here, we are going to cook fish tea. In Jamaica, we call these makabak. Makabak, them look white, you that like a silvery look. You can use wenchman, you can use doctor fish, you can use sprat too. These little fishes they make strong fish tea. And if you, if you are somebody that has a mild stroke or you have had a mild stroke or you have somebody that had suffered a mild stroke, I want you to take, pay close attention to this video because this fish tea is a medicine constantly drinking over time to bring back that muscle where you see drop and to bring it back constantly drinking it pay attention so i have got right here one kilogram it's a little bit over a kilogram fresh and nice and if you want to see in other video come in you know someone will watch me like a hawk you know or someone will never even look on the video just me you know i look on the things in the background so if you see a scale or two on me it's freshly done but just go get them them fresh so we're going to be using some cold water one kilogram we're going to get our flame hot and we are going to be throwing i'll tell you the amount that i use okay so we are going to be using that my flame is up and i'm going to be using right on over here i'm going to be putting three reasonable side cloves of garlic in this thing here okay so or garlic let me get my garlic in and I'm gonna leave it to start whilst I come back to tell you something now if I use catch water family the water bad nice today is Saturday while I'm doing this video you see okay three cloves cloves of garlic and that in salt okay we want the salt to cook with them we want the salt to be in here from now that the fish will take the little salt flavor because we are going to be putting a little fish tea noodle in there and that is salt based too so we just want the fish there because let me tell you something fish is funny you know you have to kind of make the, 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 the fish the look of salt if you just boil the, salt, the fresh water so it have a add for flavor eh? so let's put this on and let us leave it to cook and it looks like we can take a little bit more water we don't want to go too much you know because we want some strong fish tea right? oh, pop down pop down all walk this place in long water fish tea so we're going to leave that to come to a boil. When it comes to a boil, me I'm going to come back for sure in that the part there, okay? Right on over here Our only ingredients that we're going to need. Some fresh, this is St. Andrew thyme, skeleton and thyme. We're going to be needing a little pimento seed. We're going to be using some of the seasoning, not the noodles from this here. It says, I mean, I don't advert this for your body, but you don't know, say, I feel we're sitting this from way back when I Jamaica. So if you see it anyway, pick it up. <clears throat> and pray for me that they find me. Let me get for those, so I'll add to them and get that change. Honestly about that. We're also 
this is not a must but me think me like little okra into the fish tea and let me tell you something please do not get any okra that is debit on a yard age group me and that that age group me and that okra the me and them are the same age not going to work so if you are watching this video whilst we go for a break and if you have all of them look at something here just get them up and come back because when we return we'll be showing you how we have to put this little fish tea to get there okay now family you see how them boiling you see how them look yeah that's they have start mashing out so look here you're going to lower your flame now to medium it was on the high trying to get it to a boil this is a nice pretty color look here so we are gonna make it boil we're gonna let it boil until all these fishes are all mashed mash with the garlic and a little salt you come and you stir it and you crush it and you're gonna leave it to boil I can say how long but me I gonna show you you just make it boil till every single thing you just mash right out when it's at that point we will return and show you how we are gonna proceed for deal with the fish tea from this one. see okay now family this is we boil it I told you to boil it boil it boil it now this is what it looks like I'm already I shoot them up I hope the lens not far out. now that you have boiled it you're gonna be straining it use a metal strainer preferably to strain you see that you see that you see that liquid they will come off of this so it's white and pretty okay wow me just get burned look at this so I'm gonna go now and I'm gonna be giving this some nice little finishing touch because nothing no left there you know. so yeah go rub out everything here so with your spoon this is just not no left in this you know. all the strength is in the liquid I'm gonna go do this and return and show you oh me have a flavor of this thing yeah. not a bad thing in this now in a family this is just trash this is nothing okay so we're there and you're free from your bones and all of that and we're gonna give you a close-up on the fish tea pre fish tea this is the liquid we soon come back fi get the tea flavor okay now we are going back to our original pot and we are gonna restrain to prove make sure so we don't have no little you know in case any little now that you have done that this is show them up on the clear 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 this is the direct strength so we have it right there we are gonna proceed now to flavor up I always told you about the strength of the green skelly and the green part of the skelly we are going to put it right in there. We are putting just the leaf at the fresh time. We don't want to stock in here. We don't want to bore bore in our mouth. That tea we are going to drink. Okay? Some okra. That is if you like. Slice. Thinly sliced. Because we're going to say slicely thin. Oh for God. I want to try tea here but you know. Because I don't remember what you say. Okay? We're gonna be putting some of this niceness in there. We're gonna empty all the contents of the packet. Uh huh. And we're gonna be using a spoon because we want the powderiness of it. So this I want to look like it did all on me. So it all take me a little time. So look at it. You see what I'm doing? You have an idea. So I'm gonna go. We don't want the noogly night. We don't want the the what is that? Look a pasta part. We don't want it. So we're gonna go now and get out all of these little nice little herbs. No, this is the powdery, you know, seasoned thing. You know what they call Maggie something. So, we soon come back. Pimento seed, I remember to wash your pimento seed. Lest we forget. And for me, I'm just putting in some freshly grated. Oh, just one clove of freshly grated garlic. Right here, so now, me, I'm going to need to give it a stir. Because we're going to leave that now. To make the look okra and all of them something near boil now. This is the color where the fish tea for have. So we have left the okra and all of them something near for boil and come together. So when we come back now, we just have to know, we want to know how the salt, you know, we want the maggi thing for cook out or, you know, and we want okra them for boil till them come and all this greenness from the flavor of the skeleton and all of that. If at this point you want to put any little thing, you can put it in, but now overdo it, you know because we want the nice just the nice calm taste of the fish tea fish is not something that you season too much i've always said that because fish don't have it only for flavor so all we have to do is 
to garnish it with one of this. If you want to cut up some of it in there, you can go ahead. Mind my water is running in the back, I'm sorry. Maybe distracting you from what I'm saying. So, you know, we have to have this, but some people might want to cut it up from now. But remember, if you have small children, camera girl, they had fear, it like up, you want fish tea too. So, when we return, we are going to see how the thing are progress. We want this hook, hook, them up where you have to cook till we can ever see them and all of that. Just eat a nice little stir. You see that come? You see that little something here? You see that little something, 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 something there? My son, come! Okay, look at this. Look at what is happening. This is fish tea, you all. This is just straight fish tea. No food. Some people add food and they had, this is what you call straight fish tea. Look at it. Look at the beauty. All of you know about fish tea. And the people them, some people do like steamed fish. And you know, and in Jamaica, you have different, different fish places. So you go, you get your fish tea. This is like a broth, you know. This is the appetizer. For gig your, your appetite. For get the steamed fish. Or the roast fish or something. This is what they prepare for you as the appetizer. Look at the beauty. Look at it. Look at the little tonic there. Look at it, you all. I soon come back, me. I'm gonna make it gel look more and come back. Come dish up some food. No? Soon come. Okay, now family, look at this. Fish tea done in on a circle down. Look at this, y'all. Look at this. All who know nothing about fish tea. If you know anything about fish tea, I need you to comment. Look at this. But we are gonna make it cool and look more. Me, I'm gonna kind of move some of them. Um, pimenta seed there, cause you know, so the pimenta seed then we need them for the flavor, but sometimes lard them too much. So we are gonna remove some of these and when we return. Me I go have some plate of food and of course me I go drink the cloth for me. Me soon come back, baby. I'm gonna be presenting to you right here, family. It's really hot and I don't want to take the chance of holding it up. From my kitchen to yours, from my Jamaican kitchen to your plate, most of all to your stomach, to your family table, it's my Jamaican fish tea. You saw me. I did it from scratch. Please do enjoy. Now, if you have liked this video, remember to give it a thumbs up. Remember to subscribe to the channel. When you do subscribe to the channel, remember to hit that notification bell. When you hit the bell, please to say, no, let us garnish it. It's, this is our garnish. You will do what you please if you want the eat to take the flavor of this or you want to mash it with your spoon, suit yourself. This is my Jamaican fish tea recipe from my Jamaican kitchen to yours. When you have subscribed and when you have hit the notification bell, you'll say what you want to say about this fish tea. Okay, make sure when you're talking about this video, you're talking about the fish tea on this. This video is a fish tea video. So we want the comments on the fish tea. Please do enjoy once more. Um, I want to thank you so much for your love. I never drink a clean about me when I pull out the atia. I want to thank you so much for your love. I want to thank you so much for your support. I'm so feeling your support. I'm so feeling your love on the Jamaican cooking journey. I've put my all out. I've done so many videos in depth. And I feel so gratified. I won't wear that. If it, it, if it fits in that context, please you all to comment. If it, if it doesn't, please to correct me. Okay? Thank you so much once more. Remember that we have got our PayPal account. Those of you who would like to make a donation, to the Jamaican cooking journey so we're giving you all these nice kind of things and all of that those who would like to send a little gift we have got our PO box and also we have got our email address and if you're following me on Instagram in the link in the description all of those will be provided people keep saying Mr. Nah, so there's something them. yes I told you sometimes when you don't see it we'll post it after okay so just bear with us it's a lot of work you know okay so we want to thank you so much again and on the note of all of the thanking post notification shout out today goes to right up top there thank you so much for your love thank you so much for your support remember that camera daughter-in-law and camera son has their channel up and we'll be putting the name of their channel right on here please go check them out show them some love they are young remember to just you know just be like normal people because they are young okay and if you'd like to give them support fake some support they would be thankful okay once more it is jamaican this is my Jamaican fish tea for you all. Please do enjoy. Let me tell you something. I hello. This is mine, you see? So I'm gonna be bursting. Be careful, you know. We want the pepper enough for me, you know. Yes, sir. 
When you do these things, when you smell inside of my kitchen, it is quite evident that fish tea are made quick. So look here. I want a little pepper or something. I can't bother drink with a spoon. Let me have my cup. This is tonic, family. This is tonic. From my kitchen to yours once more. Please do enjoy. Debbie from Donga Yard. Bless. No stress.